today I have filmed this really, really neutral cut crease with a pop of colour. I bought this NYX Vivid Bright liquid liner the other day and I really, really wanted to use it in a tutorial. I love it. So yeah, I just wanted to prove that you can still wear colours like this and wear something that's really wearable. I'm about to go out for dinner, so I'm literally going to wear this out. Probably gonna do something with my hair because I know it looks a mess. Uh, so ignore that, just focus on the makeup. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to film something that was really, really pretty and wearable for this time of year. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, all that good stuff. And if you wanna see how I created this neutral cut crease with a pop of yellow, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my transition shade. This is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. Then I'm going to run this shade, this is Coco Bear, by, also by Makeup Geek. I'm going to run this through my crease. Then I'm just going to take some more peach smoothie to blend out the harsh lines. Then I'm just going to clean up my lid using a makeup wipe. Then taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to run this all over my lid. Then just taking some more on a lip brush, I'm just going to really neatly cut the crease. Next, going into my Naked Smoky palette, I'm taking this shade here. It's called 13. It's just a really, really pale cream shade. And I'm going to place that all over the Milk eye pencil to set that in place. And if your milk eye pencil has done what mine has done and imprinted onto my crease, I'm just taking that brush that we had Cocoa Bear on without any extra product and I'm just going to gently buff that away. And then go back in with 13. Next, I'm going to give myself a wing using the NYX Vivid Brights in the shade Halo. Oh, sorry, Vivid Halo. Then I'm just going to take my MAC Fluid Line in Black Track and just trace just underneath a really, really thin line. Um, and a bit on the lash line just to thicken it up. So I've just put a pair of my favourite lashes on. These are the Ardell Wispies. Love them. And now I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. Um, I'm going to start with priming my face using Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Then I'm just going to do a small amount of colour correcting before I go on to my foundation. This is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Orange. And then this one in the shade Green. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, mine's in the shade Nude and I'm just going to pump that onto my beauty blender. I love this foundation so much. I really hated it um, at first, like really, really hated it. 
Um, and then I think because my skin was like just changing at the time of the seasons. So I was having a lot of problems and I thought it was breaking me out, but I don't think it's that now because now I'm obsessed with it. Can't get enough. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It always looks really wet as well. Like it is quite a wet foundation, I suppose. But it's not that, um, it's not very watery. Like it's quite thick, but it just looks really, really wet and like makes me look properly shiny. But then it's not like a really, really dewy consistency either. It's more like a sort of in-between. Very strange, but very good. And I'm very bad at describing it. Next, I'm just gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Custard. And I'm gonna place this under my eyes. Put it on my chin. This is a pretty good match for my foundation. I don't really wanna brighten too much today. So I'm just taking the lip brush and I'm just gonna drag some of that concealer along to clean up my wing. And then take my beauty blender again to blend that up. Are you up? No. No? No, it's going well now. I you scotch again. Oh, I love you. Thank you. We're gonna go for dinner at about six. Where are we going? Okay. Who with? Okay, I'll go for a quick run after this and then just get a quick shower. Five. Okay, five. Oh God, no run for me then, okay. Oh, I feel so much better with makeup on. I wanna dance with you right now. Right, I'm gonna take my 105 Luxe highlight brush from Zoeva with some of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to use this to set under my eyes. Oh, I'm going to try not to get it everywhere. And then I'm going to use this to lightly dust off the rest of my face. Please excuse my gross hair. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Very Dirty and Disgusting Contour Kit and I'm using this shade here on my very clean 109 Luxe Face Paint Brush by Zoeva. Something that's got to hide this double chin. Tap, tap, tap. Well, it's coming out a lot harsher on camera than it is in person. So I'm gonna take my MAC, what is this? <laughs> Mineralized skin finish and give me sun. How could I forget that? Um, and my MAC 168 brush, favorite brush. Or bronzer. Oh, I love this bronzer so much, it's so smooth. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you want to contour your forehead, then go ahead. If you have a large forehead or feel like you need it but mine is actually quite small in comparison to the rest of my face so I just like to bronze up here I don't like to contour I just put a bit on my nose on the old nez do you know what would really help if we remembered to contour our nose so I am taking my Real Techniques base shadow brush this is my favorite favorite brush for nose contouring and it's the only brush I use for it and in fact it's the only thing I use this brush for. So I'm just going back into that Anastasia shade. Really tapping it off because I don't want too much. And I'm just gonna go in there. 
Oh, and you remember when I said I didn't want too much? Yeah. That happened. That's the problem with this Anastasia contour kit. It's really good, but it's just so pigmented. Sometimes I feel like you need a less pigmented uh, contouring shade for your nose. Like, I like contouring my nose with Benefit um, Hula Bronzer most of the time, but I've left it upstairs. So, gonna have to make do. Yeah, that looks ridiculous. I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and just bounce it over on the side that we've had our foundation on. Not with any extra product on, but I'm just bouncing that gently over the nose. Oh, that's a bit better. Now I'm just gonna take a bit more and contour underneath my lips. Right, now I'm gonna go hard with the Fix Plus. No, not really, not really, not go hard, just Give my face some love with the Fix Plus. That will do. Make me look a bit more real. I'm all about that glow today. Glow without compromising the fact that you've got really oily skin. Right, right. Next, I'm gonna go in with Let's take the brush out. This is the Sleek Cleopatra's Kiss palette. It's fantastic. I actually love it more than the Solstice palette, which I never thought would happen. Um, this is the, uh, I can't hold five things at once. This is the Solstice palette and this is the Cleopatra's Kiss palette. Look how amazing they are. I'm actually obsessed, but this one, was my like ultimate love life palette and then I got this one and I was like shit me that's a game changer um so now unfortunately my solstice palette doesn't get used um and I'm gonna take this shade here don't know what it's called the names are on the back and when you get it you get like a little plastic sheet that tells you the names but I'm gonna go in with the lightest powder shade in this one there's two creams and two powders so I'm gonna go in with this lighter powder shade my MAC 224. Okay, well that's not going for them. There we go. And now I'm just taking a uh, 240 Luxe Petite Pencil Brush by Zoeva. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner with this. And my brow bone as well, why not? So I'm gonna go back in with Cocoa Bear on my MAC. I think it's 214, it's just a flat shaded brush. And I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. Really lightly, nothing heavy, and I'm sort of steering clear of the inner corner, focusing on the outer corner and dragging the product inwards. Don't want anything too heavy on there today. Right, so I've applied some lower lash mascara. And now it's time for lips, and I actually don't know what to do. I don't know whether to go for a bright red. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Morocco. Or like a nude to sort of, sort of match. This is the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the shade Fortune Cookie. I feel like this one will go better. But I just don't know, because I wanted to go for something really bright. I feel like this is probably the more sensible option. So I'm probably going to go with that, and it stays on throughout food, which is always really good.
So this is the finished look. I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. Um, you could obviously pair it with the brighter option if you wanted to. This is Morocco by NYX or something a bit darker, um, something like a bit more burgundy, like um, Russian Red or Diva, both by MAC. They would look really, really nice with this. Any kind of darker red, I think, would look really, really nice with this look or bright red like this. I went for the nude because this literally doesn't move. This is the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in Fortune Cookie. I think I've said that probably. Um, but this literally doesn't move. You have to scrub to get it off. And I'm going out for dinner. So I thought that would be a good idea. But definitely if you want to be a bit more creative and a bit more playful with colour, wear a bright lip. Um, yeah, that's it I guess. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. My other social media links are down there as well. If you want to check out my Instagram or Snapchat, then please do so. Um, and yeah, that's it, I guess. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!